not knowledge of the economy that, that you're now expressing. Uh, well, I could have demanded a recount. Uh, but uh, uh, no, we tried very hard, and I think that the, I think in the compromise, all in all, we, uh, we did get a goodly share of what we asked, but. Uh, at any rate, here we are at midpoint in the first term, so I thought a little personal perspective might be appropriate. Looking back, I guess my greatest satisfaction is the conviction that a country that was skidding dangerously in the wrong direction, losing the respect of friends and foes alike in the world, and even worse, losing faith in its own future, has been set on the right course. We've begun to undo the damage that the overtaxing, overspending, overregulating binge of the 60s and 70s inflicted on the American way of life. And we've made America respected in the world again. My biggest regret is that because the accumulated damage has piled up so high for so long, putting America's house in order has been a tough and painful task. I remember John Kennedy saying that when he came into office, the thing that surprised him most was to find that things were just as bad as he'd been saying they were. In my case, the biggest surprise was finding out they were even worse. And it's a real human tragedy that so many of our people today are still suffering for the political mistakes of the past that we've finally started to correct. But now let's look ahead for a moment as we enter our third year. See, I see an American economy and an America on the mend. Nearly every economic indicator shows us heading into recovery. The same economists who were arguing a few months ago about how much worse the economy would get are now arguing how strong the recovery is going to be. And I think that's a step in the right direction. We've reached a bipartisan compromise to save the Social Security system and our efforts to strengthen our security and build a more peaceful world through arms reduction, negotiations with the Soviet Union, and through helping the peace process in the Middle East and other world trouble spots are in full swing. Right now, I'm in the process of making final budget decisions. I'm not here to leak any details, but I can tell you that our budget will be fair, realistic, and will pave the way for a strong, sustained recovery. And so I'd say that for all our troubles, midterm finds this administration and this country entering a season of hope. Now, unless someone's going to bring out a cake with two candles on it, well, first, I just want to show you when this is going to be distributed. This is a record. All of the legitimate leaks are combined in here. It's a two-year review that will be distributed to all of you of what has taken place and what has been accomplished in the government in these two years. And now I think it's time for questions, but again, I'd like to suggest that if we get started on whatever the first question is and get started in that subject, that maybe it'd be a little more orderly if we said, well, okay, anyone with further questions on that subject? Uh, Blair? Gary? Mr. President, what, uh, you pointed out the high points uh, of your first two years. What are, what are the low points? Uh, the, the failure economically uh, of the budget not to grab hold, the high deficits, the high unemployment. Uh, are you taking responsibility for those as well, sir? Well, I would think some of the disappointments have been that in the give and take and the compromise that has to take place in the legislative process, uh, we never did get uh, intact uh, what we thought was a well thought out economic plan. We had to give way uh, with regard to uh, limits on spending in many areas. We've never gotten as much as we asked for that. We uh, did not get the tax incentive program intact and with the impact that we thought it would have uh, on the economy uh, as from 30%, for example, in that one phase of the income tax to be put in retroactively beginning in uh, January of 81, uh, uh, to have not get only half of that installment and get it down the line in October and so forth. Uh, the things of this kind, I think the uh, something over which we had no control was the uh, maintaining of the high interest rates for so long when they pulled down from the great money upsurge of the 80s, which perpetuated the interest rates to the point that I think they were responsible for the 
uh, step off the cliff. I can't say this recession did not begin in July of 81. This, this recession has been coming on for several years and gradually growing worse, uh, as we were able to talk about in the, in the campaign. Mr. President, uh, knowing what you do now, this is a, really a, a follow-up to Gary's question. Is, is there anything that, that you yourself, as, uh, as President, would have done, done differently in those two years uh, with the, with the econo knowledge of the economy that, that you're now expressing? Well, I could have demanded a recount. Uh, but uh, uh, no, we tried very hard, and I think that the, I think in the compromise, all in all, we, uh, we did get a goodly share of what we asked. But uh, uh, I, I can't think of any place where we would have changed courses uh, drastically. Uh, uh, Mr. President, do you wish 